Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this is my second video. Um, as you can see, I'm wearing one of the items that I will be talking about today that I spoke about in my last video. So this video from the title is going to be my Prada collection video. Um, so I am surrounded by things and I guess I will just get into it. So the first item um, and the first category I will be talking about is ready to wear. So I have this short sleeve button down top this is very summery you know you can wear it fairly unbuttoned you know very good for summer it's just super cute super lightweight really love it really enjoy it um my next one that i'll be talking about is this big jacket it comes in this giant garment bag so for this one i got this one like a decent while ago it's this nylon black jacket with burgundy striping all up the arm on the back it is just simple nylon and on the front it sort of has this hidden zipper compartment it does have a hidden hood inside the collar here um and the white piping goes all the way around i really like how this jacket is so simple yet it looks really nice when you wear anything burgundy or red um, also, I really like how on the inside, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see, but it does say Prada there, and it does have a few little inside, um, pockets, so it's really nice, very lightweight, um, good for, like, fall and sort of early spring. My next one, which I'm, like, really sad about, is this gorgeous yellow color, very lightweight, um, I think this is a merino sweater but look it got attacked by moths so there are three holes on the front one hole on the back so i contacted my essay to see if there's anything that they can do to fix it unfortunately there isn't so i'm wondering if maybe i should distress it even more and then it'll look super cool and distressed but right now it's just sort of like got an awkward amount of holes in it like this is not cute so i don't really wear this one unfortunately but maybe i'll destroy it and i will the next one is this really cool t-shirt so it's got these women on these billboards apparently this was legitimately oh my god did i say billboards i meant buildings so apparently this was actually done um this is from the fall winter uh, 2017 collection this artist that they collaborated with actually projected these pictures onto buildings and then they took pictures of the buildings and put them on t-shirts, which I thought was really cool. And it just has the Prada triangle. This one is very high neck, so it comes up to about here. Um, looks really nice. I really like it. The next one is this black t-shirt in the front, but the back is this amazing mermaid sort of palm tree, very floral print. Um, it's all embroidered, so it is super, super nice. Really good quality here. It says Land of Prada. Um, I made a mistake by washing this with all darks, and the white and pink um, threads here sort of got discolored. But from afar, it still is like super eye-catching, super nice. Um, this one has like a really high neck and then sort of a lower back, which is really interesting. Um, and it's like, I find myself having to pull it down, but I'm not sure if that's how it's supposed to be or if that's just sort of if it's a mistake or like what it is. But it has also the Prada triangle here. It's really nice. The one thing about this shirt, though, is that the embroidery is so thick that if you sit back, it can like imprint on your back, which is kind of weird, but again, a beautiful shirt. The next is this gorgeous yellow polo shirt. Um, just has the simple Prada um, triangle here, nothing on the back, just a very cotton pick, like simple polo shirt, um, really nice. The one thing about Prada sizing is super weird. Like for this, I'm an extra small, but then for one of the t-shirts, I'm a small, and then for another t-shirt, I'm a large. 
so I don't really understand. It's a very like mixed bag, but they're great. Last but not least for my ready to wear are these shorts. So I spoke about these in my last video. These are actually swim shorts and they are the same print as this. So it's gonna look super cute when I wear them together. Um, I got these in December, right before I was supposed to fly to New Zealand with my family. Um, actually, last December, December 2018. So yeah, they're really cute. They're really short and they're like a nylon material. Um, they basically just have the Prada triangle here. They're super low key. If you didn't know they were Prada, you like wouldn't know. And that's one of the things I like about Prada, except for obviously like this, but no, they're very cute. Um, now moving into bags. So I have this big tote bag. Um, it's just simple, one of their simple nylon totes. It has the Safiano leather handles here, the big Prada triangle on the inside. It's just a giant chasm. So there's like a zipper pocket here, two pockets here, um, a really big pocket on this side with the nice like pop closure and it does come with a full strap. So this is super good for traveling. Um, I would highly recommend these if you want like a nice travel bag that isn't super like in your face like it's just so simple and it's so good it's ginormous it's great to like shove under a seat in front of you highly recommend this my next bag which i did show um in my last video is this little guy it's the messenger bag in nylon i love proto nylon it's just it feels so luxurious while also being like functional and technical it's not like one of those crazy fabrics like a like a really nice cotton or like a really nice cashmere it's just it's so weird I don't know Prada does it best they really do it best I found out actually when I was speaking to um one of the Prada essays that they actually started doing nylon when um Miyushia Prada bought a fleet of sail ships like sailboats and they really liked the technical fabric of the sails so then they started thinking about how to incorporate that into a bag and sort of products and they came up with this because Prada was historically a leather house but now they're mostly known for like fur and um, leather but also nylon. Um, moving into more accessories, um, we have this which I did show in my last video as well. Um, it's just this simple Prada nylon pouch in their heat map print. Again, if you didn't watch that video, super good, super amazing pouches. They make the best pouches. These are great for travel as well. You can sort of keep all your travel documents in here, like passport, um, boarding pass, sort of anything that you need visas. And then it has this little wristlet, so it's great for day as well. You can just sort of put it on your wrist and go. Hold it like this even, good for a night out. I have worn this to a few like events, like weddings, and it's actually worked out pretty well. Next is this cute little Prada T keychain. Um, so for those that don't know, um, my name is Tor, but it's, it's everywhere on this channel. Um, so I thought this would be super cute. It's actually like one of their varsity chains, and I got this when I was in my like third year of university. And I just thought it was so cute and I like put it on my bags. It looks adorable and it's just, it's so simple, but then it's just like a little bit of flex. So you're like, why not? Next, we have this bad boy. I showed this in my last video as well. This is my um, gray cashmere hat uh, with the pink bunnies. It's a collaboration with um, the artist James Jean. I really wanted to get one of the sweaters as well but unfortunately i missed out they sold out super quickly in vancouver as with almost everything luxury so that is what i got i love it now on to something a little bit more suspect are these pink um i believe these are also nylon they're these prada socks and i don't know i remember these being like i saw this like neon um Linea Rosa collection like when they did a relaunch and I was just like oh like everything is so bright but I really love pink and I really love bright colors so I was like 
if I'm gonna get anything from the collection, I might as well just get these. And honestly, they are the best socks I've ever purchased. But at the end of the day, they are socks. But they're honestly so good and they're so bright. Like I've had these for over two years and they're still insanely vibrant. Like they haven't lost any of their color. They haven't really lost any of their shape. Um, I mean, in all fairness, I don't wear them all that often, but they're just, they're just honestly so cool. I would recommend these. If you want a pair of designer socks, there are a lot of designer socks that are cheaper than these, um, but there are not a lot of designer socks that are as cool as these. Okay, what else? So I can continue with accessories now. So I really like Prada sunglasses. So the first pair that I have is this pair. I actually bought these um, because I thought I lost my other pair. These are these aviator style. They have, they're really cool. They're like acetate, light acetate, but then in the light, this sort of fades away and you can just see the rim. Um, yeah, they're very cool. They're very lightweight. They're super comfortable. They're actually my most comfortable sunglasses. They're my favorite sunglasses. Um, I wanted to get another color there was this lighter blue that had a mirrored lens which i really was interested in but it, at the store the one that they had had a scratch on it and my essay didn't want to sell me that one and i was like fair enough and then my next pair is this pair so these are just a very simple tortoiseshell um sort of i don't know wayfarer style they look really cool they have like just the metal in the middle so from afar it sort of looks like you just have these two bug eyes they're really nice they just have product right there i actually got these um for me and my boyfriend for christmas um i bought him the black version i got myself the tortoiseshell version and we i don't know we try to be cute and wear them at the same time it's adorable and then my very last product piece these are my only product shoes they are these really cool um platform brogues but wait, i'll show you this one I don't get a chance to wear these all that often because they're a fairly formal shoe. So they're all patent leather. They have the brogue style um, sort of perforation. They're a full leather shoe. And then they have this giant platform and just says Prada on the bottom. Um, one thing about these shoes, they are super narrow. So whenever I wear them, my feet just like scream at me, but they always just look so amazing that I power through um but yeah so I believe that's everything looking behind me at the mess that I've just made um I plan on making more of these videos um sort of different collection videos um Prada is definitely my largest collection and if you're interested in seeing more um thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time um, again, this is only my second video, so if you have sort of tips for me or pointers, I would definitely love to hear them. Um, and thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe and give this video a like. Thanks. Bye.